A model who was beaten up along with her fiancé during an alleged racial attack wants justice. Two men arrested in connection with the incident did not appear in court today because footage of the incident is corrupt. Miriam Ngomani says she was repeatedly called the K-word and a monkey. Her leg was broken during the incident. Slindela Masikane was at the Hatfield Magistrates Court. She joins us now in the newsroom with more. So, Sli, give us the details first behind this alleged race, racial attack. So a few weeks ago, Shahan, around the 11th of July, uh, Miriam Gomani and her fiancé were out at uh, Times Square Casino um, enjoying what they say was uh, the football game between South Africa and uh, I think it, it was Nigeria um, at that point. And um, at around uh, after the game, of course, we won and uh, I mean, we lost rather, but they decided to enjoy uh, the evening um, there at the casino. And around 3 a.m., um, while they were on the floor enjoying themselves, uh, her fiancé noticed noticed a one man uh, basically throwing away a cigarette stub on the floor and basically said to them, listen, there's an ashtray, you don't have to, you know, litter, basically. And they were, he was basically met with insults. Um, uh, he was told uh, how he could, how could he uh, judge them uh, while he's with a filthy black woman. Um, she was also allegedly called the K-word. And uh, what uh, was insults then basically turned into a violent attack, allegedly. And, and so uh, there was uh, footage that recorded that incident. As you would know, in a casino, there are uh, thousands, basically, of CCTV footage. And it took some time to obtain that footage, but uh, finally the police did. And um, a number of suspects, I believe it was two today, were arrested and were meant to appear in the Filled magistrate's court. Yeah, so tell us what happened then in court, or what didn't happen, I should say. Basically, what didn't happen, Shahan. Um, the state prosecutor uh, basically, uh, after looking at the docket and the evidence before her, uh, decided that uh, they needed to be, to be basically more further investigations into the matter because uh, it seems as though there are conflicting statements between witnesses, uh, some alleging that, in fact, Ngomani was the aggressor um, and, so, and so forth. And also, when the footage was actually presented to her, she could not open it. Um, and so uh, she, she decided that she could not really proceed with the case. And so the NPA stating that uh, the matter was not enrolled and uh, it, it was uh, not enrolled for further investigations. But let's just have a listen to what Miriam had to say. We were told that there's contradicting statements from witnesses and that apparently started a fight if I started a fight, wouldn't I be the one that's arrested? And the video won't open. I don't understand. My leg is broken. We are in pain. How much more evidence do you need? That we were assaulted, that someone who has been racist, they need to take responsibility. Shocking, isn't it? So tell us what happens now. Basically, now we understand that the police uh, have uh, got the docket once again. Um, the, they will continue to investigate. But we also understand, of course, that Miriam and her fiancé insist that they want justice to be served. She says that she's not just doing this for herself, but thousands of other um, women who are basically uh, the subject of racial attacks because um, of who they choose to date. Um, and she says that uh, their lawyers will be trying to obtain uh, that footage uh, themselves in order to be able to take the matter further. Let's just have a listen to what she had to say. This fight is not just for me. It's for the mothers, for the minorities of the people that it happens to every single day, you know. So something's going to get, we're going to get the footage. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Reporter Slindelo Masikani.